Hey guys, welcome to 100 BBQ live stream. Today we're going to play this uh, war path and there's a huge war. And yep, welcome everyone. Um, there's a lot of things happening. That's why I also will a little bit quick and pop in to the game. You can see um, there's a lot of actions already now. Um, I really need a little bit time to check on the battlefield and to know what to do is the best um, because I just pop in. Um, before I pop in, basically we have to do a lot of um, chat things and also some of the management thing as well. Um, but the war is already started. You can see. Um, I just do a little bit quick update. Um, yep, the opponents try to resist on the left side. You can see there's a lot of our opponents um, show up on the left side. Um, when about 30 minutes before all of this raid is gone. Um, now they just start to attack is because of the Raven Town going to be open. That's why this RF they are super super active now. And then uh, EMWP they are still getting the burn. Um, not seeing them uh, come back yet. So maybe they might come uh, to get the push as well. But uh, we will see that. So on the other side um, you can see the blue one is TH. Um, this one the TH. And so that um, they are also getting burned a bit. And then the yellow one is W A C T and they also got burned out uh, by this Revo uh, re, uh, by yeah Revo the red one and also by the RF as well so you can see the RF on the top side they are try to fight both side RF um, on the left side and on the right side so I don't think they are divided their army will work it out because they are trying to divide but their main uh, fighter is supposed to be Revo so is how the situation happening now and then uh, you can see um, our allies try their best to defend the TH I can see some of the rebel they really try their best to do things as well and start to push back some of the um, TH and uh, WSCT they also try their best uh, to help as well so the things that we have to do now is um, focus on our own side on the left side wall I can see um, our officers try the best to you know uh, coordinate the attack so that everyone can uh, go into the to the war zone as AP and start to contribute as well. That's what is it. Um, that's why I uh, also need to do a little bit war. So you can see um, we have about um, sixty to seventy percent of uh, HSK already on this side. So if uh, EMWP they try to jump, definitely we can uh, we'll uh, start to fight. Then we have a little bit like. 1 or 2 percent or 3 percent is on the farm that's definitely not a huge thing that's why we are very prepared to fight on the left side and then uh, COD they're also having a lot of land after the recovery and uh, also we tried uh, we're already touching the COD settlement so COD settlement is supposed to be fine and uh, based on what we have to build we can't really build to the right side because uh, we can't block the COD so that we have to take a long um, build to the buff to get it there to burn the RF but definitely RF is already here that's why the war already started uh, that's why I have to move my base already a little bit front so that we can support and kill the enemy as AP as well so let's send me send my farmer to attack them as AP and uh, this range, ranger having a lot of problem uh, his archery is dying I don't think he's aware that this uh, situation so I'm have to move my base up a bit um, to support him yep and uh, you can see opponents also having a lot of uh, no mobility teams definitely it's hard to uh, make sure that our movement is safe but I want to move here to support um, our friend a little bit more instead of uh, his reserve keep on dying Yep, his reserve, I mean his arteries keep on dying without a good reason. That's why my super heavy is uh, getting there. Start to kill them. So I use a little bit like auto attack and my space is uh, keep on moving. So you can see my uh, super heavy start to chase the, those mobility team away. And they might try to touch my um, arteries team. So I try to you know, do a little bit secure here. And this guy is 
still doing the 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 bad things to our teammate. That's why I really want to kill them. You know. Okay. They try to maybe block my um my truck, I guess. Yep, you can see my actually start to do the things and chase those uh mobility team away. You can see. So that's what I can do by now. Uh, I need to put down my yep my truck so that I can keep on send my farmer uh, to chase down those uh, enemy as well. And I'll put my um, super heavy to chase one of the, the enemy so that they can't really kill our reserve really there. Um, you can see my setup currently doesn't have uh, any fast tank so the best thing I can do is uh, using the, the super heavy. Other than that is my farmer. You can see my farm is very very effective to kill those uh, light tank and also those uh, medium as well. But they also doing a very huge damage there. But definitely they can't uh, win my super heavy. But I have to do a little bit redraw. The main problem is because uh, I only need to drag more time for my farmer to do the damage. And they are very near to my base. So my super heavy doesn't really have to fight with them. Instead, uh, we can keep on um, you know, kill them with my with my farmer. Yep. So that I save my teammate uh, reserve a little bit more and chase all those uh, funny guys that try to do a uh, you know, uh, backdoor attack. So I'll move my base a little bit uh, front next to my teammate instead um, so that I can cover him a little bit better. Okay, that's, that's bad. Right. Okay, put my base somewhere there. So I can kill my teammate and also start to support some of the uh, what do you call that? Support some of the battlefield as well. Okay, base or block. Okay, now doesn't block. Uh still blocking. Put down my base. Okay, finally we put down my base. Okay, I think someone activated the bunker. That's why you can see some of my our teammate is also kill the bunker because the bunker is automatically kill our reserve. That is very very bad. And my bomber is coming back. That's why I have to chase down all the um, opponents as well. So I will try, okay, some of the opponent even air live here. So I have to uh, send my um, team to go in and kill the enemy as well. But I can't send all of them. The main reason is because I need some of my uh, defense. Oops, uh, I didn't. I didn't do the complete things. I need some of the team to protect my base instead of uh, everyone go in. Yep. Okay, we have something here. I think. Yep, we have something here. So my partner will go there and kill this um, tank and this as well. Yep, you can see my farmer uh, being a little bit decent and start to kill some of the enemy mobility team as well. Um, that's what best I can do and uh, prepare to have my big team to go out. The best thing now is definitely not um, having all in out because uh, my base is more valuable and we are trying to delay the opponents instead. And opponents really like to activate the, the bunker somehow. But you can see he start to die some of the the tank that he have because my farmers start to do the job as well and this uh papa jaga is coming as well so i put my super tank uh go and kill him and then uh, my farmer as well so this guy is definitely not like getting all the free kill but the bunker is definitely uh, a huge problem anyway um, I try my best to minimize the uh, opponent's damage to us. You can see he tried to chase other and uh, but you can see he also going down so much. That's why I just make sure all those uh, opponents try to come to our our back door. They uh, have to retreat in instantly and reduce those uh, benefit for for um, the opponents. I will kill this bunker because this bunker is really um, kill a lot of our, our teammates as well. So you can see we have a few members coming on the left side. They try to protect that and there's so many enemy. There's really no point uh, to push them. 
um what you have to do is like you know build all the defense here and so that if the enemy come they're definitely having a very huge um bad time to clear up all our base even though they do they will be have to you know sacrifice a lot of um their reserve to make it done that's why now the best thing of us to do is uh doing defense Yeah, I try to communicate uh, with our management team to tell them uh, what we should really do is the best thing. Um, I, I would suggest that uh, we try to defend a little bit more. Yep, uh, do not rush for back. I think this is the best one. You can see opponents having like a, a huge swarm team. Looks like they are going to win, but definitely they are not. Uh, the main reason is because like um, the Moscow action is like never stopped from the beginning until two days like uh, already like seven to eight days already definitely both side having very very low on reserve that's why um if you do the defense correctly the opponents will have no more reserve and that's how we will push them back i mean before we push them back we should really try to uh what do you call it we should really try to um reduce their reserve the more the the, the best after we reduce all their reserve, then we will start to you know swarm that their their base out of the the area. But the best thing now is uh, a little bit different from Pyrrhus is, is because our village is so near, so we can just airlift, you know, we can just airlift and then uh, go back to the war zone. As before, our area is so far away, our village somewhere around here or here. Then we have to walk like uh, thirty minutes time. But now definitely we might like walk like um two minutes or one minute already reach the battlefield and our reach is still continuously uh building up that's why we take about um before the 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 town open the raven town open i think our reach is somewhere around here that we can start to you know have uh next to the enemy fight that's why um defense is the best thing now and another thing is uh because we already have a plan now the plan is really working out because all the rf try to attack on um hsk that's what we want the enemy to do um, the reason is because um, HSK is super super strong, but not means that we, we doesn't lose. The main reason is that uh, all the enemy try to attack HSK on the left side. Then, you know, on the right side, the opponents have to reduce some of their fighter and so that uh, TH and W, they can do their best to resist and also push back. You can see um, TH really start to push back and W also try to help and push back already. That's how uh, we try to divide the opponent's strength. That, uh, so that because we see um w and th they're really somewhere around here and they already surrounded this uh raven town you can see um w have a yellow path here and also got a yellow here as well that's why um it got pushed back so much and then how we try to you know um make the opponents divide um two sides so that the uh, rf is here and the e is here and so that the uh, server six and then uh raven uh Raven and then uh, this uh rf is here but somehow we divided the, the opponents to the left side. It seems that it's like a good good way to defend like both sides, but definitely one side will fall. So that's the decision of the RF, whether they want to you know fully defend on the left or fully defend on the right side. But uh, I mean, it's still winning for us. As long as we are pushing one side, then uh, definitely we will touch to the RF CC and also we will touch to this uh, uh, server 6 and also uh, Rainbow CC as well. So we have to focus the wall on our uh, side here. You can see my base is a little bit front. So I will try to do uh, some um, swarm defense later on. But now we have to see all our um, teammates start to get swarmed down. Um, definitely it's fine because um, the more they try to swarm, the opponents will try to get the more uh, of this, um, what do you call that, um, no, their reserve down as well. You can see um, the more they swap. I mean, we still have like a lot of time to do the the uh, the town because the town open like in the next four hours so that um 
the next four hours our base will get back at least like uh 50 percent of the the hp as well but now is really about uh, the reserve of the wall because the one side having more reserve will win the other side um getting less reserve definitely will, will lose that's why our uh, reserve is more important than the the base hp because usually the base hp will regen about uh, eight hours or ten hours so that's why that um we have to do the defense correctly that's how um, we must really try to strengthen yeah so we really need a defense army here even though they push back all this one um Rav is not getting anything because you know our big group is here and then our leash is here they have no way that push us back that's how uh, we are not afraid at all 